Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today we've got a set that is about to be a real legacy build for Halo Mega Constructs, the Wasp Onslaught. This thing is pretty hard to find still, but when it is on store shelves and everybody can get hold of it, they'll see just how much power this set packs. Here's the back of the packaging showing off the two-in-one build, which I do hope to make one of these days. And here it is all on display. Four figures, guys. A vehicle and a shade turret. Outrageous. Completely outrageous. And all of the footage today was provided by my good friend Kevin at Halo Collector. This place on Facebook is the number one forum to buy, sell, trade, and chat Halo collectibles. And they've got a website coming soon, which I'm going to be a big part of. I'm so excited to share more details with you guys. So, this is the Wasp Onslaught. And we're going to start with the packaging and then skip to it being fully built. Let's just give one more shout out to Mega Constructs for the numbered bag system. This speeds up the builds by about 500%. And here it all gets dumped out and we've got the figures. We've got to build most of them. We don't have to build the grunt in this set. Sometimes you do and the grunt is actually a bit of a pain. But here's the hunter being snapped together, and this guy is really the star of the show. I've seen a lot of people very excited about the Master Chief, and you will see why he is a great figure, but this Hunter man, this banished red, this anger running through this Hunter. Also, Kevin puts on those fuel canisters like it's no problem, but they are hard to get in, usually on a Hunter. Let's just, oh, let's just appreciate this guy. I mean, first of all, he's got a banished symbol on his shield that is such a great touch. I love that banished red, and I never thought it would work with such a light silver but here we are and it just accentuates all the little details you can see every scratch mark every etch into this armor so perfectly because of that light silver you know I never thought we needed to move past the Covenant I just love that religious purple colors but that the banished is the king man here's the Master Chief and the grunt and we are about to name this grunt for the first time. This is Carol the Grunt. She's actually a female this time. They're pretty basic grunt, you know, blue and silver. I like the skin tone and it is generous that it comes with that charged plasma grenade as well as a plasma pistol. Taking the fight to the banished is this UNSC Marine. We've had, honestly, a very generous amount of Marines over the last year, and the genius of it is that every single one has been different. Mega Construct's new Marine armor system means you can have a thousand possibilities, loads of different armors. This one, it does reuse pieces, I mean every piece from last year, but we are at least treated to a brand new head mold, which is a nice touch. This head is Miranda Key's head, and we'll get into more details on that soon. Let's build up the man and the myth, the legend himself, the Master Chief. This lime green, you know, I, I usually prefer my chiefs in metallic green, but this one, come on. I think the thing that will catch everyone's attention the most is the battle damage on his chest and his right shoulder. And this is a really nice touch. I think it's meant to represent scorch marks, probably from when Brohammer rescued him. It's this speckly dotted effect, which I do actually think works very well. That 117 is iconic as always. And my boy Chief's just looking good, man. You're looking good, Chief. To all the haters that are complaining about too many Chiefs, I say... Folks need heroes, Chief, to give them hope. So smile, would you? Well, we still got something to smile about. And here we've got the Shade Turret. This thing, since I saw it in the demo for Halo Infinite, I've just wanted to get on board and start nailing some Banished, but this thing looks awesome. I adore the translucent side pieces and front. It's put together by these metal rings that you actually sort of flexibly attach around the body. And then we've got the Wasp. This is the third iteration of the Wasp that we've seen in Mega Constructs. That sounds crazy, but it was a big part of Halo Warzone. And it's so funny to me that a DLC vehicle in Halo 5 has made it into the core vehicles of Infinite. It's even on the packaging of the game. Here it is in person. Kevin's going to show it off and there are a lot of features that I'm surprised by. Here's some foldable wings. 
this turbine rotates around and dips in and out, giving you some really nice flexibility to display it. Then on the back, we've got some movable wings. We've got these turbines that go up and down. And I'll tell you this much, metallic green looks good on this wasp. Now, this is the feature that surprised me the most. Fold down that little latch and you can open the main cockpit. A really nice little detail and we have movable handles for all different kinds of enemies and heroes to hold on the bottom we've got more movable turbines this thing is detailed guys like really detailed when I saw that the price point was so much lower than the Warzone wasp I wasn't really impressed I thought it would be a more skeletal build than it actually is so props to that and we also get the shade to it for the price this is kind of wild these wings move in and out, and again, that metallic strip is how you put it together. So creative. My boy 117 here, and this Marine, actually generous that they included two shoulder pieces. We can see her with the helmet off, a little bit of a chubby face, but very nicely detailed. Then we've got Carol the Grunt. I do appreciate that charged plasma grenade. I don't remember the last time we've got one of those. And our Hunter which I think this is the main reason people will buy this set. I don't know, I've seen a lot of hype on this figure online. It's just so great. And the fact that the build is two in one means you can, if you want, buy two of these sets. So you have the pack hunters. You know, they hunt in pairs in the game. He's got a great emblem on his right shoulder. And the detailing, man. All of the... It's not just the banished red, you know. There's all these little scratch marks inside the red that makes for a fantastic figure. What more can I say about this set, guys? One of the greatest value vehicles, figure combinations we've ever seen. Mega Constructs is clearly stepping up their game every year by releasing more figures per set for better value. You know, comparing this to Lego, it's kind of ridiculous. This would be a $100 Lego set. Oh, let's just pan into the Chief. Oh, it's just looking so good. <laughs> This wasp has taken me by surprise, folks, and this will be the first set that I grab when I get to America. It's got some fantastic little details, particularly this opening cockpit. It just, it adds to a really detailed, well-designed set, which I didn't think we were gonna get. I thought this would be a bit of a hollow build. So, this vehicle, more than any over the last couple of years, I have truly been surprised by. And even looking at the bottom there, We've got those four missiles that just clip in fantastically. Hats off to Mega Constructs. Even some detail in the cockpit at the front of the set. It just looks like it belongs in Halo. And so does this shade turret. That metallic strip, I know it's hard to describe on camera, but the way it folds around the body is so creative. The way the wings move out and it's very flexible, I think a lot better than any shade turret we've got before. Well done. Bravo, Mega, bravo. And a huge thanks, as always, to Halo Collector for this footage. They are launching halocollector.com within the next few months, and I am shaking with excitement about the possibilities. Stay tuned, guys.